Okay, today is August 30th. It is about t almost 10:30, and we're about to get back on trail. Uh, we got to Trout Lake last night. Um, hung out, had some dinner, got just a few items from the general store, camped, and then uh, this morning we woke up and went straight to breakfast, hung out there for a bit, um, and now we are back on trail. Like I said, it's almost 10.30. Uh, we're gonna do like a low 20 today. Um, probably at least no, maybe no more than 24. I don't know, we'll see how the day goes. And then the more that we do, Today and tomorrow, we will make it in sooner to Packwood on Sunday. So, Katie's gonna go visit her friend in Washington about a few hours from here um, for the next two days and then meet us at White Pass on Sunday. So, that'll be great. And it will be September. It's our birthday on the 8th. And it is my birthday approaching. I cannot take a zero on my birthday because I don't think it's gonna work out, but we will take a zero in Skokomish on the 9th. So, Exciting things. Okay. Almost there. Almost Washington. And sorry the other day for not taking like any videos yesterday because it was raining all morning and uh, no one wants to take videos when it rains. So, yeah. But I'll keep you, I'll try to keep you updated throughout the day. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Happy trails. Happy trails. So it is a little past seven o'clock and we're not too far from the campsite that we're camping at tonight. Um, once we get to the site, we'll have done, I think it's 24.8, so almost 25 miles out of Trout Lake. Uh, we left a little after 10.30 today, so making good time. Um, like I've said many times before, I usually hate getting to camp like past 6.30 but when uh, I leave town later, I can excuse it because we started later um, and I'm way okay with that. Uh, I also enjoy, I, I really do enjoy sometimes hiking like at this time. Um, it's a lot cooler and it's just kind of peaceful and quiet. Uh, it's pretty relaxing honestly to be, to hike from like, I don't know, between six and eight sometimes um, if you're not too tired. So I do enjoy that aspect. Uh, the cafe was really good at Trout Lake. Had some breakfast there this morning and some coffee and then just hung out a little bit. Uh, they had Wi-Fi so it checked up on some stuff and then uh, head back out. But I also was gonna say, I don't mind going longer days, or sorry, going more into the evening leaving town when I know to get to the next town that I have like less to do to get into town if that makes sense so for example it was 66 miles from Trout Lake to uh, Packwood so we're doing almost 25 miles today so the more that we cut down today and tomorrow um, if we're staying the night in town then why not maximize the day especially because it's Labor Day on Monday and we're gonna hike out on Monday. But since we're staying at Packwood, uh, we're gonna barbecue on Sunday and have some hot dogs, maybe corn on the cob, some chicken, just some grilled vegetables um, outside of the uh, place where we're staying, which Katie booked, thank you, because everything else was full. 
uh, we'll just have like good eat, good eat. <laughs> we'll have some good eats on Sunday uh, night, so that will be really fun. So we should have Cracker Barrel for lunch or brunch on Sunday, and then some uh, good barbecue uh, Sunday night. So I'm really excited for that. Whoop. Uh, so real quick, I do want to uh, have a serious moment. Uh, this morning, um, well actually, so today is Friday the 30th, about three days ago on Tuesday. Um, the passing of another PCT through hiker um, happened. Uh, I just found out about it actually yesterday from Katie. She garmined me and uh, the sad part is well, in general, it's just sad, but uh, I did know this hiker, uh, so it was kind of emotional for Falls and I, because his name was Finn, and he was hiking with his girlfriend, and we had been hiking around him and his girlfriend for around the Sierra time frame, and then the last time that we saw him and his girlfriend was before Lassen National Park, so uh, I just want to say, uh, like rest in peace and uh, that was pretty crazy today to cross that bridge um, he passed away because a tree fell on him and they couldn't revive him so I just want to say uh, he was great he was so genuine a friendly guy and I had many conversations with him and we saw him on Whitney um, going up and coming down and we camped with him a few times and it's pretty crazy so uh, just being aware of that and yeah so just guys if you didn't know that uh, just wanted you guys to be aware as well and I know that's some sad news <laughs> to end on but uh, I just want to honor him as best as I can, so. Yeah. Bye. Morning to ya. It's August 31st, last day of August. Bam, bam, bam. I did think this morning, I was like, where was I on August 1st? And I'm pretty sure I was in California still. So, in the month of August, I was in three different states. Ain't that neato? Um, this morning has been pretty good. Uh, weather's been nice and cool. Only thing that I usually don't complain, but I will complain this morning because uh, we got into camp uh, a little bit later last night, like after dark, because we had Okay, this is not what I'm complaining about. First, I'll say we got into camp late because we had trail magic 0.7 from where we were camping at this random dirt road. It was called the Rainbow Cafe, and the couple, it was a couple and their son, and they were so cool, so nice. Um, they already had a fire set up, and I hadn't sit, sat around a fire in a while, and that was just honestly super nice. And then they heated up chili, which I've been actually wanting for a really long time I've been talking about it and they made us uh, cheeseburgers too and I had cream soda and they just had a bunch of other spread it was probably the biggest like setup that I've seen on trail they had like two big pop-up tents and they were staying the whole weekend and they had a bunch of water and drinks and just like fuel and they actually had like a setup uh, stove top and whatnot so it was really really cool uh, like we said, really unexpected, random dirt road. They said it's the last dirt road or service road until we hit White White Pass, so until we hit Cracker Barrel. And so that was really neat. Didn't have to make dinner last night. Well, I didn't have to eat my ramen, so that's plus. So we showed up to camp and we set up and everything. There was another person there. Um, tried my best to be quiet. Uh, and then this morning, his alarm went off at 5 a.m., which isn't a huge deal because I wake up at 5.30, so it wasn't much before 
my alarm, but it went off for five minutes and he didn't turn it off for five minutes. So that was a little bit bothersome uh, to other hikers. Please turn off your alarms when they go off and wake up to them. Put them right next to your head so that you can turn them off right away and uh, just be conscientious of other people who are sleeping around you. That's all. That's all I will say. Uh, but yeah, this morning has been beautiful. We're now in the Goat Rock Wilderness and we'll be hitting like Knife's Edge, the uh, most like more for photographed and scenic section uh, towards the afternoon. So <clears throat> yesterday we did yeah, almost 25 miles, and then today we should probably do like 29 or 30, and we should have a really nice day tomorrow into Packwood. So, see you later. Houston, we have a problem there. There's snow on trail. I don't know how we're going to make it through this. Uh, I think we should turn it around. It is really steep, and yeah, I don't know what to do. It's pretty crazy. We saw a bunch of day hikers going back. JK! So we just came down from Knife's Edge. We took the old PCT route um, alternate uh, instead of the new PCT. It's pretty much the same distance, um, distance and time. Honestly, it was all right. You just go straight up rocks and you get a bit higher than the PCT, but you pretty much see the same thing. You're just, there's it's steeper and you there's more rocks, so. I give it a six and a half out of ten. I don't, th I don't think it was that great. Hey, what are we rating for? <laughs> I don't know, but I wouldn't do it again. I just... give it a six point seven out of ten. It was steeper and rockier than the PCT, so it was more impressive in my eyes. <laughs> Stop. Um, like I just don't think there was a big difference if you take the PCT, then I don't know. I'm not sure. Someone was just like, you have to take Knife's Edge. It's so much better, but I feel indifferent. So that's all.
okay, take two. Because I uh, was not filming before, but happy September 1st, everybody. It is finally the month that I finish the PCT. And it's pretty exciting. So, almost done with our climb for the, for the morning. Gonna see Rainier soon. Uh, not too far from White's Pass. And Katie's gonna meet us there around 10 a.m. And it's about 7.45 right now. So, almost there. And uh, then we'll go into Packwood from there. I did hear yesterday, I'm pretty distraught about it, that the Cracker Barrel is not a Cracker Barrel. Come on, people. Why false advertising? I was so excited for breakfast at Cracker Barrel. Like, I'm so distraught. <laughs> and now I have to eat Cracker Barrel when I get home. Like, why would they do that? That is so sad. One thing I will point out is that this Cracker Barrel spelled with a K and the real Cracker Barrel spelled with a C. So I probably got that mixed up, but that's my little update for the morning. See you when we get down. Feel being in civilization. <laughs> it's too many people. We need a plague. Breakfast. Champions. Had five. What is it? Uh, so